Hey guys, I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see how to write data to Postgres SQL considering source as BigQuery using Cloud Dataflow. That is via Apache Beam. So this is the topic for today's video and without any further delay, let's get started. So to clear, uh, to talk more about our objective, in previous video, I have shown you how to write data to PostgreSQL. So in this, basically we have created a dummy data using Beam code and we have posted that uh, that data into PostgreSQL using Beam nuggets. So in today's video, we'll be seeing, seeing we'll be implementing the same but with some modifications. We'll be considering our source target as BigQuery and we'll be running this entire pipeline in, uh, in Cloud Dataflow pipeline parameters. So uh, we will see what are the services used for this uh, for this objective. So Cloud SQL, Postgres SQL is the instance I have created for this video. So this is this will be our target table and Cloud Bucket. So where like we'll be storing our template like data flow template and we'll be uh, storing the log file. Everything will be stored inside this Cloud Bucket and the entire pipeline will be run in Cloud Data Flow with Apache Beam as the uh, Python SDK. We'll be using Python Apache Beam Python SDK to implement this and BigQuery will be our source target. So everything will be uh, will be doing will be implementing in the form of uh, uh, like how we how I used to implement that in the production. So everything will be implemented in the Cloud Shell and editor. So the steps. So basically uh, the steps or you can say the requirements basically. So how to create table? We have to create a table and data set in BigQuery. If you don't know how to create a table or data set, please refer to this video. Like uh, in this video, I have explained how to create a data set and table in Google BigQuery using Python itself. And create Cloud SQL, Postgres SQL instance. So if you don't know how to create a uh, SQL instance, basically you can take a look at this, look at this video and you will be able to achieve it and create a store, storage bucket. So this will be uh, as a part of code. So I'll show you that also. And this using Apache Beam will like I have used and I have used Apache Beam Python SDK and will be writing custom code for all this for achieving this task. And basically this is a kind of requirement. We have to enable the API for all the services. So for this services, Cloud SQL, Cloud Bucket, Cloud Data Flow, and BigQuery, we have to enable API. So all these resources, all these links will be available. I'll give this link in uh, description box also. You can take it from there. So enough of the theory part. We will now see how to implement it practically. So uh, this is my Google Cloud Console. So basically, I'm working on this project. Name My project name is Data Lab, and the project ID is Data Lab 36505. Copy this and you should activate your shell by clicking on this one after clicking on this you can open the editor click on this to open the editor if you click on this you can see similar screen like this so i have created i have a, created a code created code and structure all those things here so i'm logging into this so everything I'm using, a, I, I have created a, a virtual environment. My virtual environment name is V uh, environment. So this is my uh, virtual environment name. So I'm going into this, uh, sorry, CD to this uh, package uh, to PostgreSQL and I'll be uh, activating my virtual environment then I'll move into this BQ2 PostgreSQL. So this is where my actual code like main uh, setup.py constants.py everything will be in. like I'll explain you what all those uh, script files consist of like to PostgreSQL and uh, now I'm uh, enabling me or activating my virtual environment source en bin activate so basically if you don't know how to create an uh, virtual environment i'll give i have created a video on that and i'll give that uh, video link in the description box you can take it from there and you can uh, uh, create a virtual environment now i'm um, moving to bq folder so i'm using this command to see what are the files so this is constants.py main.py setup.py i'll explain you what is what all those things 
so uh, this is my main script file i'll be triggering this script file alone so this constants.py consists the pipeline parameters so these are the parameters which is used to run our pipeline so runner uh, the data i'm using data flow runner and there are many other runners in uh, beam and template temp bucket like temporary bucket and data flow staging region job name template location basically we'll be creating a template and we'll be storing in this uh, gcs bucket storage bucket so if you see gcs bucket 01 is my storage bucket name and i'll open my bucket name here bucket so cloud storage so this is my bucket name gcs bucket 01 you can create it very simple like create bucket and just enter a, a name of your bucket and this bucket will be common across all across this project so like you can create a you can give a bucket name and you can just uh, create it so this is how you 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 will create a bucket and then so this is project id source table name like source table name like this is my data set name in bigquery and this is my table table id is titanic and target table id this is will be uh, this is in uh, uh, postgresql i'll be creating the a name a table named target in postgresql and these are the parameters uh, of of creating a postgresql so you can see this you can see this all all these details in this uh, in this video create a postgres uh, like create a postgresql instance and you can see in this video also so you can refer this two videos to create a postgresql and you will get all the details like i have shown you clearly in that video so without any for like i'll walk you through that code itself this is importing libraries like json uh, import os time arc pass and apache beam import apache beam as beam and i'll be importing pipeline options and setup options and now i'm importing bigquery so considering our source target is bigquery now i'll show you uh, how I, what is the data present in BigQuery, all this detail. So this is my project ID and demo data is basically my data set name and I be, I'm using Titanic data set. So this is my table name. So basically this table uh, is nothing but consists of that uh, table related to Titanic data set. So um, like I have lim uh, I'll give you, now I'll take you the, I'll take the total count inside uh, inside this titanic data uh, like titanic table name so there are totally 891 so this is the one and pipeline arguments like project job name runner staging location temp location region template location setup file so basically these are the pipeline arguments and i have given all this in as constants and basically i'm reading it from there so i'm imported constants as c and c dot project id all those details we will get it from here pipeline arguments and this is the query i'm used going to run like basically uh, select star from whatever i have given here no select star from uh, project this is my project name this is my data set name and this is my table name so totally 891 records are present in this table and this is source configuration like postgres sql source configuration i'm using beam nuggets relational db so if you see that video you basically understand all this detail so i'm reading all the details like driver name host port database username password creative missing this is the parameter all that from constants basically i'll give values person and i'll take it from here and i'm just creating that source config and table config as well now i'm implementing my main logic here so i'm creating a pipeline as p and reading data from bigquery uh, the query is basically present here i'll be reading it and if you use uh, use this parameter use standard sql equal to 2 basically it will be false you have to enable it so that you can use sql uh, as like you can use uh, sql itself directly and now i'm filtering i'm making one transformation basically i'm reading 891 records and i'm filtering using the survived i'm basically i'm using a, i'm creating a filter on survived column those who are who are present no those who are actually survived i'll store that detail in this p collection and i'll basically write this p collection even to into my postgres sql so 
if you see serve wide 0 and 1 totally 892 records uh, i'll be uh, creating uh, i'll be filtering with serve wide equal to 1 the people who actually serve i know so i'll be creating a filter and i'll write that record into postgres sql so if you see i have created a, a filter condition where serve wide equal to 1 so basically i'm taking the count so in my target table i should consist i should have 342 records so this is the um, uh, this is the objective like i'm just taking a filter on survived column e who actually survived and i am writing that data into my into my postgres sql so i i hope everything is clear as of now and i'm creating a main function to trigger my pipeline and this will basically give me uh, just it is a notification message that my ran my, my code ran successfully so python i'm just triggering my pipeline now python main dot by python command not found so i'll basically use ls and now python so now it is creating an uh, template location basically the template location is present in this location gs bucket template folder and the template so it ran successfully now i'll be using this command to submit my job to cloud data flow so my this is the syntax g cloud data flow job run this is my uh, job name and this is the template location so uh, this will run we will see that in data flow job so i am going this is my data flow i opened the data flow service and i'm just refreshing it so my job is submitted here and this is the steps involved in the job so reading data from bigquery and processing the data writing to db1 so like uh, i'll show you how um, uh, like i'll be we can check now we'll go to this uh, browser location and we will see um, our template created so basically inside template folder we have created a template so this template will have the uh, consider that that as a blueprint of this entire code so let it run I'll pass this video and I'll uh, resume it once uh, it is done. Yeah, so it took me four minutes, level seconds to execute this pipeline. So we can cross check the results now inside Postgres SQL instance. So click on this button, click on this icon to activate the cloud shell. So click on that activate it will take some time to open our cloud shell so the, i'm into like i'll show you how to, like, so using g cloud sql connect my instance name is postgres this is my instance name so i'm giving postgres directly and this will take two or three minutes to load i'll pass that and i'll come once it is uh, resolved So it does uh, come like uh, you if you see this enter your password I'm entering my password and click and I entered it like I clicked on enter so after that it will go into this Postgres so basically Postgres is my username so if you come here uh, you click on this user you can see the database and the username so this is the user Postgres so we are into this user and database will be demo db so connect with connect on demo db you can use this command c to connect with demo db and enter the password again so i am into demo db so now i am giving my target table name so this is my target table name if you don't know you can find it from here so target table id is target this is the table name which will be created in uh, demo uh, postgres sql so click on enter now so this was this is the record so click q and come out of it and now select count star from target 
so basically it is 684 records so the reason of for this is so i have already created a target table so this i have created twice so that is the reason i am getting the count as 684 so 684 divided by 2 is 342 so that is the table so before this recording before recording this video i was creating a i was doing it i was experimenting it so that is the record that is the reason i am i'm getting uh, uh, like the record will just happen no so that is the reason i am getting uh, twice of the record so basically it is nothing but 342 so the same record which we get in bigquery right so that is the same record we are getting we are seeing there also so uh, that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new from this video uh, please do like and if you have any questions or any doubts uh, regarding to this video as well as previous video as well as in if you have any doubt in google cloud platform about the certifications doing certifications in azure as well please reach out to me or um, please drop your questions in the comment box i'll take a look at it and reply it to as soon as possible and please do share and subscribe it with your friends and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so i will see on the next video until then it's bye from weakness take care